So, here we found the, uh... I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> here we found the, uh, bubble head of, uh, was it intelligence, I think? Hey, Dr. Lee. Let's have a look. So, in the last session, if you guys remember, if you guys remember, um, I came to Rivet City, and, uh, Dr. Lee, and uh, she was telling us about uh, our dad, our parents in general, and um, how she and our father were well, in cahoots when it comes to the, this project purity thing, which, which meant that uh, the water in uh, wastelands would be clearer and would not be radioactive anymore. But uh, yeah, it was a lot of effort for both of them. My father had to go to the ball because, you know, our mother came in. With speed. But yeah, these guys, yeah, they're shady. Apparently, I have to retrieve their an android or something like that. I escaped them. It seems that this android is a special. Beverly Hotel. Go to up the. Yeah, um, I'll try to find a lot of stuff here in Rivet City that could pull to forward in the story. I guess we'll see. What is that? You're oh, hurt. That is Doctor Preston. This is a medical clinic. The patient. Why don't you let me take a look at that? Um, hello, uh, Dr. Don't even think of Preston? Ringing. You're in the Revit City Clinic. I'm Dr. Preston. Um, your doctor, no, no. What did you know about this android from the Commonwealth? What did you know about this android from the Commonwealth? That old story? Well, now, I haven't heard talk of that in quite some time. It was all just a rumor, a hoax. Someone's idea of a practical joke. Story was there was an android escaped from the Commonwealth up north, from someplace called the Institute. There was a hollow tape that got circulated. I think I've got a copy of it. Yeah, here it is. Give it a listen. That's a man's voice. Hoax for sure. Okay. Oh, got a note for that. Uh, can you tell me more about this uh, whole tape about the android? Like I said, it's a hoax. Don't bother with it. Someone sent tapes like that to pretty much every doctor in the wasteland. None of us believed it. I see, I see. Um... Let me chimps. Uh... Did you know that uh, Polly Chantelli is an addict? Yeah. A guy that um, I was mistakenly giving some chems to him. Was what was that? Jet? Like that? I don't. No, psycho, psycho. And I uh, died, and I had to stop from the say that I did. He's totally strung out. It's going to kill him one of these days. Yeah. Don't say. Don't say. Um. This place looks pretty easy to rob, though. Have any problems with thieves? Don't get any cute ideas. Security is just a shout away. Now, if you've got any medical issues, let's hear them. Sure, um... Do I have any radiation on me, though? Well, uh... How about... You no. Know, need medical supplies? Sure thing. Here's what I have. Uh, at least it's cheaper. <laughs> cheaper here than anywhere else, to be honest. Um, I have 815. These steam pads, I forget to make steam pads, to be honest.
You tell me I don't have any. Yeah, okay. Okay. Let's get some... Um, any of those. That's two. That's the eight caps. And, um, one rat right away. Uh, one. That's it. I'm going to keep more than that, to be honest. A pleasure doing business with you. Um, you're a doctor, right? I could use some help. You're right. Um, you do need a doctor. Lucky I happened along. But first, let's discuss my fee. 100 caps ought to cover it. I need the doctor. Of what? <laughs> I need the doctor. Of what? Uh, on second thought, I'll be fine. Suit yourself. Uh, on second thought, I'll be fine. Uh, bye, Doc. Take care of yourself. Bye, Doc. Take care of yourself. Good. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Rivet City Clinic Patient Data System. Okay. Was my health always that low? Weird. I know about that. <laughs> um. What was I wanted? What did I wanted to do? Oh yeah, that's right. I want to see about my radiation. Oh yeah, that's right. I want to see about I mean I have one right away, so I guess I'll uh, one of those. Uh I'll heal myself because you know need all the health I can get. Even with that even with that This is you're wounded. I'll, Let me bandage that. Oh, yeah, I could You're just right. help. You do need a doctor. Lucky I happened along, but um, first I'm let's going discuss to my uh, team pack for that. 100 caps ought to cover it. All right, here's your money. This won't hurt a bit. Nah, just kidding. It will probably hurt a lot. Hold still. Feel better? You should. That was the good stuff. Need anything else? <laughs> no. I'm good. I'm my doc. Take care of yourself. Patient? Patient is unconscious. Okay. The Preston's door. Yeah, but there's going to be comma if I do that. What's here? What's that? Mr. Buckingham. Welcome to the Weatherly. Mr. Buckingham at your service. <laughs> okay. Um, what is this place? This is the Weatherly Hotel. It's the finest establishment in Rivet City. Eh. Who's your owner? I serve Miss Vera Weatherly, proprietor of the Weatherly Hotel. Not that it's any of your business. Right. Um, I don't need a room. And that's all for now. Yes, sir. Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. See? Yeah, I can. Look at me. Ah. Vera Weatherly. Hello. Vera. Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. I'm your hostess, Vera Weatherly. Let's 
speech a hundred percent yeah I'm not having that. Sorry. I'm not having that. Um, well, if you, even if you are not going to tell me any interesting gossip, I have some interesting gossip for you. Uh, have you heard about them? You know, about the fact that uh, um, Angela Staley has a crush on Zero, for example. Oh, yes. She's crazy about him. He keeps telling her no, but he also spends a lot of time with her. It's really not fair to her. Yeah, and um, you know, um, the deal with um, that little punch, James Hardgrove? Poor James. His mother drinks too much. When she does, she doesn't treat him very well. Personally, I think she blames him for his father leaving her, which is ridiculous. Yeah. But do you have to eat? Take a look at our menu. Right. Um, steak, cram, steaks, 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 ash, and food, potato crisps, All right, rather chips, cola, and refined thunder fruit, Ellsbury steak, roll on steaks in batch as well, and wild thunder fruit, thunder, thunder, thunder. Um, well, uh, thank you, Vera. Thank you. So long, Vera. Farewell. Alrighty. Uh, very easy. Okay. Very easy as well. Ooh, cash register. Well, that's something. The refrigerator obviously is not going to be able to open itself. That. Dimmer's hotel door. Ooh, this one I can open though. Not going to be dramatic. Oh, very hard. Hundred. Of course. Sister's hotel door. See? Okay. Full blocks. Ain't done since module and wounded loot. Go to Rivet City Market. Look at that. That's something. There's a lot of people to talk to. It's going to be incredible. And jump as well. Never been here, I think. The first time for me. Um, hello. I'm on duty. Make it quick. Sure. Um. I need to get going. Bye. I need to get going. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye. Oh, this is uh James, um, and this is his mother. Shut your trap. You'll eat what I give you and be grateful. All right. Boy. Let's see. Welcome to Flag and Trap Mills. Best oh, yes. damn weapons anywhere. Eat. Where's that go? What's a niche ditch? There was some sort of battle in the city. Gate guard said the gunfire was closed. Oh, okay. Where does that go? Go to Rivet City. Okay. Go to Rivet City. Okay. This is the workbench for crafting my weapons, but um, I don't know how to do that. Yes. Rock, yes. Or Anakin's automatic attire. Oh, this is hot. Oh, Who's yeah. that? Welcome to Flack and Shrapnel. This is here is Flack and Shrapnel's gun shop. Pretty catchy, huh? Take a look around. If you see anything you like, I'll be right over here. Um. Can I see what kinds of guns you have for sale? Need to do some killing, eh? Yeah, yeah, you could see that. To be honest. Oh, this is where to get it. 
I don't know. I mean, I could easily get your stuff, but you know. I'm a good Samaritan. I'm not going to do that. I, no, I would like to. Of into there. Yeah, I heard she was drinking river water. A lot of interesting stuff. Better. Yeah. If we don't get fresh water you soon. That. We'll all end up Anyways, welcome hello, to uh, Bannon. Welcome to Potomac Attire. Are you Dr. Bannon, Bannon by any chance? City Council member. I carry discriminating attire for discriminating customers. Discriminating attire for discriminating customers. Um. I see you also a person of refinement. Between you and me, keeping out the riffraff is good for business. Um, why are you guys living on this boat? It's a place to live, safe from raiders and super mutants. With Dr. Lee on our side, maybe we can even begin to rebuild the world. But yeah. Uh, so you're on the city council then? Dr. Lee, Chief Harkness, and I are all on the council. We meet every Monday morning. I can be very influential, if you know what I mean. Far more than Seagrave Holmes. Whoever this uh, sea drab is, you think he's a threat to your influence? A threat? No, of course not. Well, maybe. He wants to replace me on the council. He's a shady character, I just can't prove it. Now, if someone were to find something incriminating in his room... Well, let's just say I would be very appreciative. Okay, I see. I uh, heard that Angela Staley is a Russian Diego. Everyone should know about this at this point. Disgusting, isn't it? Someone should talk to that boy. He has no business hanging around that tramp if he's going to be a priest. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm here to do business with you. Straight to the point. I like that. Biter goggles. So, you see, I saw your wares, and, uh, you know, okay, so nice and all, but wares, then... come back soon. I'll be back for, you know, another time. Another time. I'm not in any, uh, kind of hurry. Hey there. This. Um, Seagrave Holmes. Howdy, Lady Chapter, he says. Seagrave Holmes. I have a little of just about everything here. You got a T-51B? No? Then you don't have everything. <laughs> um, what have you dropped to sell? Um, right. The BB, right. also BB, right. BB gun. Uh, I know, I know, I know about that. Right, I'm Dahmer again. Sell, feed her on the as well. Same for ability. Melting torching pot missile, missile launcher, gun. Raider Psychotic Helmet. Raider Status Dog. Okay, Scrap Metal. Teddy Bear. Okay, Coaster. It was the same thing. Almost the same thing. And. I should leave. See you later. Yeah. We'll see you about. Yeah. James, you stay out of trouble. But I mean, yes, sir, Chief Harkness. James, where are you going? <laughs> James, where are you going? Welcome uh, to Cindy place. Chantelli. Okay. Holy Chantelli, Cindy John Chantelli. That's a relative or one of the, his acquaintance, or I don't know. This is a quick fix. I mean, that's the name of our shop. Polly and mine, that is. My name is Cindy. Cindy can't tell Ah, his wife. My name is Cindy. Cindy can't tell Ah, his wife. 
Um, what do you have for sale? We've got all kinds of chems. Ant, clean pheromino, pheromones. Sorry. <laughs> and clean pheromones. The charisma plus three, but you lose on perfect, uh, performance. In performance? Perception. Sorry. Perception and in, uh, intelligence. Alright. Buff out. Alright. Uh, yeah. I got all I need. Everyone needs to know. The poor dear. I wish there was something I could do to help her. That boy ought to just give her a tumble. It would be good for both of them. Um. So, your husband is an addict, right? He's hopeless. I have to keep him away from the shop, or I'll rob us blind. One of these days, he's going to end up dead. Yeah. He's going to end up dead. Ain't that a thing? It's time for me to leave, Cindy. I'm sure you'll be back soon. Yeah. I'll not make any promises. I'll be right oh, is that Angela? Welcome to Gary's Galley. Can I take your order? Um. Why is this place called Gary's Jelly by any chance? It's named after my dad. He's a great cook. It's named after my dad. Huh? No, uh, why is James Hardrove such a brat? James's mom, Tammy, is a real bitch. She treats him like crap. Oh. I think it's because she drinks too much. Yeah, that may be true. Uh, well, what do you have? Here's a menu. Uh, well, what do you have? Yeah. Culture as well. Yeah. Too bad. Culture as well. Archa. Yum yum. Devil. Well, okay. But no thank you. Um, I'll bet, I bet you're dead, Julian and Angela. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's. Where everything was. The, um, it's a cliff forward, right? God bless you. Diego. Ah. Other cliff forward. Yes, that's Morning. right. You have something here that I could be of use? The nation bots. Oh. Oh, take. Okay. Same measures. I'm sorry if I got through, I go through your stuff, but you know, it's always Im important to to find something useful. Father Clifford. I am Father Clifford. This is Saint Monica's Church. Um, who is uh, this uh, Saint Monica? She is the patron saint of lost children, very popular among the faithful of Ribbit City. I'm surprised you've never heard of her. If you want to hear her story. It will be I mean, the topic of my sermon on Sunday. Services begin at 8 a.m. You should come. Um. <laughs> Lie? You're a priest? Yes. My flock is all of Rivet City. You should come to services this Sunday. I'll be telling the tale of St. Monica. Um, I know you're part of the railroad. What do you know about the android? He's one of God's creatures, just like you and I. He wanted new memories and a new face. Sadly, I couldn't help him. He left to look for a tech, someone with pre-war skills. I see. Um, I need to go, Father Clifford. Saint Monica bless you. Right, Pedro, where are you going? Anyways, not like it, Matt. Is 
is this place? Is it so, um, you know, you mean here? Anyways, let's close this. Abraham Washington, yes. <laughs> that guy took the name of, uh, you know, Abraham Lincoln and George Washington at the same time. It's nice. Um, where to go? Wanna do some buff out? Maybe a little psycho. All right. Good chase. Free me. Free war business. There. I mean, each plus five. H plus two. Oh, hello. I need to get that. H plus five. It's a pleasure. I really hope you're not thinking of breaking. Micro jets back. Go down. Super chase. We will pack arcs. Roll out. Or agility. Well, I don't need that. Be all right. Oh yeah, that place. Oh yeah, that place. Empty the sure, blotcher is always the you know. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, so that was the broken terminal that I uh, actually looking at. There I was when I did made the deed. Yeah, I accidentally killed um a pulley because of you know fact that uh, I didn't know that cycle was lethal for him. So uh, I do the repairs well, you around know. here, so if you see something that Henry you Young, this place could use a few well. more people willing to work. Everything is falling apart. Uh, people that you won't see immediately here. Oh, yeah, what? You've been rather busy lately, asking questions, investigating. So is that it? You're some kind of investigator, a detective for hire. Or do you have some kind of personal grudge against an innocent android who simply wants to be left alone? Please tell me. I'd really like to know. Um. Uh, what do I do with my own time is my own oh god. This. Um, who the hell are you? I think you're confusing me with someone else. Look, whoever this missing android is, I just help, okay? Who the hell are you? Fine, let's cut to the chase. My name is Victoria Watts. I work for a movement whose goals are directly opposed to your own, apparently. It seems you're trying very hard to locate an android my associates and I have tried very hard to hide. You can see how that puts us at odds. What would you have me do? You really want help? Take this. It's an internal component from the very android you're searching for. Don't ask how I obtained it. Present it to Dr. Zimmer in Rivet City. Tell him the android is dead and that was on the corpse. He'll believe you. Do that and Zimmer will go back to the Commonwealth and leave that poor soul alone. Do that and you'll save a man's life. Um, anything else? Anything else I should know? Just understand that this android is now, for all intents and purposes, a man. 
He looks human, he acts human, he believes he is human. But even if he's not, even if he's a machine, he's capable of rational thought and emotion. So you see, his soul is as human as yours or mine. This person, and he is a person, deserves a chance at freedom. Please, if there's a shred of decency in you, don't take that away from him. Right. I understand. But, um, what's this uh, movement you mentioned? We call ourselves the Railroad. Our mission is the rescue and salvation of synthetic humanoids. Androids, as they're more commonly known. If I help you, is there some kind of reward? Of course. If you help me, and thus the android, God and the universe will smile upon you. Is there any better compensation? Hmm. I joined the railroad. I joined the railroad. Um. What about? Human slaves, try to help them too? Yes, if we are able. But there are others in the wasteland who assist in the plight of human slaves. Our android brethren have only us. Alright, I have to go now. You know what you need to do. Alright. Yeah. Worth more to us than you are. So, what do you know about Zimmer? Other than him being an egotistical, arrogant, condescending pain in the ass, nothing. He's from the Commonwealth. He's come looking for some special robot. I must admit I'm rather curious, but I have other work to do. All right, farewell. So long. Hello. Garza. Please excuse me. There is much work to be done. What do you do around here? I help Dr. Lee when she needs equipment moved. I am no scientist. I just help with the heavy things. Right. I understand. What do you need? And... And time for me to go. Later. Later. Janice, have you overbalanced the chemical mix? They should be just fine. Hmm. What? Or what should I? It's either I um, tell Zimmer that uh, the android is dead, or I search for clues to the android's identity. The sooner you find my property, the sooner I can get out of this slum. Really, how do you people live like this? You know what? I think that in this case, I'll be more on the side of um, helping the android rather than helping Zimmer. I think that Zimmer is not a good man. So, yeah. The android is dead. So here is an internal component. Here is an internal component. How that goes? What? Let me see that. This is a neuro servo, unique to the A321. I. And you say you got this from his corpse? I suppose there's no other way you could have obtained it. Well, damn it! I was afraid this would happen, out here in this this 
wasteland. Well, here's 50 caps for your troubles. Try to buy yourself an education out here in this hell. Good day. Garza, when you get a chance, remove the empty water tanks in the gardens and put in What the else do you want from me? Certainly. I've done. <laughs> Done a good deed. I've done a good deed. I've done a good deed. <sighs> so happy about that. Sometimes you have to trust your instincts. So. Alright. Then. Alright. Then. One. So do I take the swift learner? Or scoundrel? Or comprehension? <laughs> Okay. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's get out of Rivet City. Level has been obtained. Comes to our stats. We're looking, uh. Yeah, we're looking pretty swell. Wouldn't you say? Going to be wait. Nothing stops the what? railroad. Oh, oh. You did a good thing delivering that component to Zimmer, telling him the android was dead. For that, I'm going to entrust you with some information. The android's transformation was done by a man named Pinkerton here in Rivet City. He's hidden down in the broken fore section of the ship. You'll need to swim to reach him, but if you're inclined, Pinkerton can perform a facial reconstruction on you as well. It won't disguise your identity, but you'll be able to experience life in a new skin and truly understand that we're all human on the inside. <laughs> facial, wait, facial reconstruction. I go to the four. I don't remember what she said. Hey. Stay away from me. What do you want? Are you? One of them? Uh... I'm not going to hurt you. What are you so scared of? I suppose it doesn't matter if I tell you. I used to be a slave. I saw a slaver on this ship. His name is Sister. I'm afraid he's after me. Really? Don't worry, I would never turn in a runaway slave. Really? Oh, thank you. Can you help me? I've been so worried with him around. I can hardly sleep at night. Let me, let me think about it. I, I am at your mercy. Alright. First off, let me save. It's been a while since I saved. Now, that I saved, come on. Well, are you going to help me or turn me over to the slaver? Are you going to help me or turn me over to the slaver? Um...
Here's 25 caps. Maybe, maybe you can buy yourself a dress. Thank you. I'll go to Flack and Shrapnel's just before closing. I don't have anything to give you, but I think I can trust you with a secret. If you ever go up north, there is a secret slave hideout called Temple of the Union. You might find them useful. Temple of the Union? We've gained trauma again. Map, more to added. Well, thank you for the trust. It's always a pleasure. Very good. Ranger of the Wastes. Very good person. I've been trauma multiple times. That's how I like. So, yeah, this creamy thing here lets me get some more speech. I'm at 63 speech, so, um, doing good, doing good. Okay, go to stairwell. Hey there. Some stuff here. Good. Load it in. Back. Not back. Not that useful. That's some. That's some blood here. Action box. Electron charge patch. Hell. Okay. Dart times eight. This. Well, let's move forward. It's so crazy the fact that um, they are able to survive aircraft carrier. Let's also let's remember that um, the. Uh, Talon, the Talon Mercs are still uh, trying to get, to get the jump on me because, you know. Seems they like me too much. Too famous for them. Yeah. Cut off. Here. Bench. Bench. Interesting. Um, baseball bat. Get that. Let me see weapons that I have. That's nine and up. Eat this with baseball glove. Also, cycle and break. Gas tank. Gas 
Is it possible? Is it possible uh, to be able to drive something in this game? I don't know. Bike. Just, you know, use one of these uh, aircrafts and just, you know, kill everything in my, in my path. That'd be uh, so great. But unfortunately, I don't think this is possible. Okay, so Chid's uh, is our plane here, it seems. this wait wait oh right oh right i don't even know what that is Is that? that here here Ouch. well um well my emergent my immersion. My immersion. My immersion. Well. Built a bridge tower. Some people over there. Out to go have a look. Oh, that's browser. Right. Go there. Go there. Go to rivet. Okay. It's here. Nice, okay. City again. That leads here. Okay. Okay. Have a look. Go to stairwell. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm not going to go there because I already know what that is. Commander Danvers. Maybe you don't know who you're talking to. I'm Chief Danvers, head of Rivet City ah. Security. What happened to Chief Hartness? He's gone. I'm in charge now. Did you want something, or are you just wasting my time? Um, what's up with that uh, James Hardware kid? That's like such a brat. He's trouble. That's what he is. I don't trust him, and neither should you. His mother's a drunk. Spends all her time in the muddy rudder. All right. Been very help very helpful. Sorry. Duty calls. Bye. Go there. We want money. Pleasure. 
nothing wrong to do a little, uh, you know, searching around. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? Little bots. Don't need. Go through it. Bunch bots. You look at that. Both text as well. Huh. Interesting. Hey there. Where does that go? The tourist is here again, so I'm going upstairs. And a door. Ooh. Gun. Didn't see that. Really, uh... Okay. In any case. In any case, I have to go... Need that. And there we It's time to uh, get back to what we were doing, which means uh, fighting for our lives. It's a hellhole. That is the wasteland. <laughs> 